Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So, we will continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement specifically about the performance characteristics of measurement system or uh, uh, instruments or device. So, we were discussing about the static characteristics, we are covering the static characteristics part, uh, the ones, the parameters which remain constant with respect to time, the dynamic characteristics which you know vary rapidly with respect to time and in the stat static characteristics uh, part we have covered accuracy, precision, error, uh, then we discussed about sensitivity, uh, repeatability, reproducibility, all of that. So please watch those videos. In this video we are going to discuss about linearity in measurement or linearity specifically in the input output relationship curve okay so what linearity in measurement means so before we discuss linearity we have to discuss another important thing which is associated which is related to this which is called as sensitivity we have discussed it in the previous video so sensitivity basically defines the input output relationship okay in the form of the input output relationship curve so sensitivity means the ratio between the output signal to the input signal suppose we give an input we get the output that ratio is called as sensitivity it is calculated from the slope of the input output relationship curve so linearity is the ability of the system to reproduce the input output characteristic this calibration curve as symmetrically as possible okay so generally it is uh, defined by the straight line equation so what essentially it means is that uh, here suppose uh, the we have a particular input okay uh, here we give any particular input the output should be directly related to it by some constant value this we want but it is not the situ situation all the time okay most of the time almost all the time the output is non-linear okay it is non-linear the input output relationship curve we will never get an input output relationship curve like this so that we directly calculate the sensitivity everything by the slope of the curve almost all of the time we will get uh, input output relationship curve non-linear it will not be straight line okay so it will always be a curved one okay the blue one here i'm talking about this is the actual input output relationship curve okay also called as the calibration curve whereas the black one the straight line passing through the origin okay this with a particular slope or slant that is the ideal behavior okay so linearity essentially means to get the input output relationship behavior as close to this straight line ideal straight line behavior okay this y equals to kx thing so how is linearity or non-linearity expressed as the maximum deviation or departure of any calibration point from the ideal straight line behavior okay so the input output plots on the ideal straight line behavior and the input output plots on the actual calibration curve they are marked and the point where the maximum deviation occurs like here it is in this case the deviation is maximum the difference is maximum at this input point the output here is this but the actual output is this here see here at this input value this 
according to this ideal straight line behavior this should have been the output value but in terms of the actual calibration curve the output reading is like here so this deviation this difference this gap here it is maximum at this input point so this is the measure of non-linearity okay the departure from ideal straight line behavior okay this is a measure of non-linearity okay so any departure from this ideal straight line behavior ideal calibration curve behavior that is called as that gives rise to non-linearity here also there is non-linearity but here the deviation is small so here see here at this point at this point the deviation is small here it is this but here it is like this so the deviation is small here also the deviation is small see but here it is maximum so that maximum deviation point that gives us the non-linearity the maximum non-linearity okay so the ideal straight line behavior is specified so that uh, the calculations the you know the output readings they can be taken out in a simplified manner okay linearization uh, techniques are used we'll discuss it uh, when it is when it will be required now we'll not you know insert a lot of things so various kinds of linearization techniques are used so that we can convert a non-linear response, non-linear input-output relationship to an approximate uh, linear relationship. Okay, so the mathematical expression of non-linearity is the maximum deviation between or the maximum difference between the ideal and actual that the maximum deviation between that and the actual reading multiplied with 100 okay in terms of percentage the non-linearity percentage of non-linearity the maximum deviation or the difference between the ideal value and the actual value divided by the actual value multiplied with 100 okay so here when we express non-linearity here we have to specify the input output relationship curve where sensitivity comes into play and there are various reasons why non-linearity arises in a system. Like I said, most of the system that we see around us, they have non-linear behavior. Okay, you will never get a system which is completely linear. But the ones which we are using in various kinds of things, in gadgets, appliances, or in any systems, be it electrical, mechanical, chemical, whatever, Various kinds of uh, linearization techniques are used so that we can get an output in a simplified way uh, and it is easier for analysis and processing. So various kinds of uh, reasons are there for non-linearity in the output input output relationship, uh, wear and tear, mechanical vibrations, uh, physical and mechanical stress, uh, presence of non-linear components or elements in the system, the design, uh, hysteresis, so this is a, another concept which we'll discuss separately. So all of the reasons give rise to non-linearity. Also, uh, non-linearity can be divided as terminal non-linearity, that means at the end points, the deviation at the end points, the deviation of the output, uh, the actual calibration curve from the ideal curve at the end points and uh, the best fit non-linearity where the deviation from the straight line it gives us minimum errors at those points both on the positive and negative side so where the minimum errors occur in that case that is the best fit non-linearity like i said where the deviation is minimum at those points it is called as best fit non-linearity where it is as close to the ideal straight line behavior that is best fit non-linearity and then we have terminal non-linearity at the end points so non-linearity is a very important parameter when it comes to specifying the uh, performance characteristics of a measurement system because according to the ideal straight line behavior, the ideal calibration curve and the actual calibration curve, taking both into consideration, we have to choose a particular linearization technique so that 
the actual response is brought as closer to the ideal response okay so for that reason linearity is a very important parameter performance characteristic to consider so here we have discussed about linearity uh, so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much